Listen to me, roof. You should have make it hurricane proof. That's right. If you know a hurricane come blow off your roof, you have to make it hurricane proof. It is just like the storm come and blow off the top, and you could have see everything into the house. And the night of tropical such storm, we were right here, and when the breeze begin to blow, and we see that the zinc start to blow off. And it was over here, when we hear woo, and when we look, the zinc them drop off around the back, and the breadfruit leaves them drop on top of it. And everybody was, everybody had to stay here, so. I know. I yeah. when I hear the zinc them coming off, I get free. And I sit down. And one lady called me, said, come out of the house. But I was afraid they think them chop me, and I still sit down. Victims of Tropical Storm Gustav. What do they all have in common? Their houses did not stand against the high winds of Tropical Storm Gustav. St. Mary, Portland, St. Thomas, and Kingston, and St. Andrew were most badly hit. When the dust settled, or when, when we were able to get out into the field and to take account of the effects of Tropical Storm Gustav, we found over 2,000 households that were affected. Of that number, 400 were totally destroyed and would require relocation, and another 1,500 households were classified as being severely affected. The needs of these 1,500 households which were severely affected were addressed by the Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Fund. The program is being spearheaded through the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, OTPEM, with help provided by the Department for International Development, DFID. The overall objective of this program is one, to render some assistance to those persons who suffered some damage to their property as a result of Tropical Storm Gustav, but to render it in a way that will enable them to build more resilient houses that are likely to survive other tropical storms. And even those persons who have not received assistance, um, whether in material or labor or both, is to make them more aware of the importance of safe building practices. And so it was that ArtPem, with support from DFID, began making roofs hurricane proof. The team has been rebuilding and retrofitting houses and so far have covered St. Mary, St. Thomas and Portland. When they come and look over the house and see the condition, they said, what's going on at NIS and report it. And we went down there and reported it. And we never remember nothing about it. Till a few months after they sent somebody to interview. After they interview the place, then go back. So around in the last month now, then come back. Mrs. Armstrong, her husband, and many others of Warner Lane in St. Mary came together with Adpem and Diffid to help in the rebuilding process. It has been a community effort. If everybody cooperate together and then everybody come in, everybody come in like one. We don't make no different than one water, then get it. They want juice and we have it, we give it, give it to them and we all work together like a team. There are a lot of community members that are usually here, you know, especially in Warner Street and Warner Lane. Right? They are always here with us. Um, some of them are cooking fish tea around the back there for us. Yes, they, they, they do play roles, right? Um, well, it, it, some family will get more people than some, but we encourage everybody. But they, they, they are cooperating, cooperating with us, and we have, we have what, what they, they, they help us in actually removing the material and the material to the guys and so on. They provide meal and so on. You know, and they, are, they learn along with us. We have been doing continuous training and the project has an initial parish training where before we intervene in the community, we engage persons at a parish level to provide them with some basic knowledge. We will re-engage persons after leaving the community at a smaller parish level or at a more community level to provide some additional assistance and additional training. So we are on target as it relates to our training objectives. One of the objectives of the project is to provide training for over 300 community artisans. 
This is to create a cadre of skilled carpenters who can assist in any future recovery projects. What Anpem and Diffid want to do is build sustainability. The bonus is that communities are coming together. When you can lend a helping hand in the community and do something that is good, you have to feel well about it so that other people can get assistance. I felt very good about it. I thank them a lot and speaking for the community, we all have to thank them and I hope they'll continue because it's really a good work started and I hope other people will derive benefits also. Adpem and Diffid are stressing the importance of using hurricane straps when building your roof. Join us next week when we will look at the work taking place, rebuilding and retrofitting in the Tropical Storm Gustav Recovery Project. Me lose my roof in a one hurricane, and that can happen to me again. Cause <laughs> thanks to ODPEM, me well prepared for any hurricane. Tropical Storm Gustav severely damaged and destroyed about 1,500 houses in eastern Jamaica. On the flip side of that, though, there were houses in the same affected areas that managed to escape unscathed. Why? How could this happen? What was so different about those houses which stood firm? Looking back, several observations have been made. Among the major ones, builders did not properly construct roofs. Neither did homeowners properly maintain them. Water coming to me roof You shoulda make it hurricane proof That's right. You know a hurricane come blow off your roof You have to make it hurricane proof yeah, I tell you. You see, The timber want... seems to have been quite rotted um, Old timber frames needed to be changed Needed to be maintained um, in, other, in other instances they, there were no fillets No hurricane straps And so you know clearly the, the roofing became quite susceptible to Even the tropical storm force winds on a recent tour of St. Thomas, one of the parishes badly hit by Tropical Storm Gustav, a team comprising representatives from the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ARDPEM, and the Department for International Development, DFID, spoke with members of the Springbank community who recounted their ordeal. Gustav gave me a hard time. I <laughs> get a hard time by Gustav. Because whenever time, while I say it again, whenever time it, it's... Um, Go off, it's finished, it stopped. They, um, they, they, I can't see right through the house stop. I was right on the veranda here. I wasn't thinking that the hurricane was coming, you know. And when we see it start get bad, in the afternoon, in the evening, I say, yes, the hurricane. I say, I don't pack up nothing. And I tell my daughter to go up top where she can be safe. The whole entire roof did come off. Them blow off all around the place. They zinc them a lick off the black, them a drop a ground upon the veranda. The hurricane will come, mash me up, all the roof, lick off, and thing. And the hurricane crack up the building. You should have make it hurricane proof. You know Ardpen has been on a public awareness campaign to teach builders and homeowners how to properly construct and retrofit houses that have roof frames made of timber. Ardpem is doing this in partnership with DFID, which has donated over $60 million to improve the island's ability to withstand natural disasters. The campaign so far has been a success. Beneficiaries are more aware and are putting what they've learned into practice. It's a community effort in many of the project areas. This will provide them with, with specialized information as to how to do it and how to do it well. There are other persons who would have benefited from the support of carpenters in the community or trained persons coming in and doing the construction. But they, they the beneficiaries now, are the persons who would have paid a carpenter to, to build a house, now have an understanding of what to look for, 
whether or not fillets are there, the spacing of the rafters, the design of the roof, um, or whether or not hurricane straps are put in place. So they, you benefit in, in, in two ways from this public education campaign. One of the most basic elements and probably the most important in the retrofitting process is the hurricane straps. Some 